So why is it that you can have two engines of exactly the same cylinder count and configuration, and one sounds like Gilbert Gottfried, and the other sounds like smooth music? Well, as usual, it all comes down to length and the evenness of your pulses. First, get your mind out of the gutter. Second, the sound that we hear from an engine consists primarily of individual pulses of air coming from the exhaust valves. If those pulses of air reach our ears at regularly spaced intervals, the sound tends to be smooth and clean, like an F1 car. There are many factors in how an engine sounds, but if those pulses reach our ears at unevenly spaced intervals, the engine sounds more guttural and angrier. What determines the evenness of the sound wave can be either inside the engine and thus has everything to do with the crankshaft, or outside the engine, which is the pathway between the exhaust valve and the exhaust tip. First, let's talk about what happens inside an engine. Some engines fire at evenly spaced intervals. The V10 from the original Lamborghini Gallardo, for example, fired one of its cylinders every time the crankshaft rotated through 72 degrees. And it sounds like sweet love. The second V10, which was used in the LP560, switched to an odd fire crankshaft. That means instead of firing every 72 degrees, the engine alternated between 54 and 90. So the original engine did this, and the new engine did this. Not only is its pitch lower, but it's more guttural and more complicated. And it sounds more like two five cylinders arguing slightly out of phase with each other, which, come to think of it, is exactly what's happening. But the most obvious example we all know so well is the V8 engine. All V8s fire evenly every 90 degrees, but there are two basic crankshaft designs. One is a flat plane crankshaft, and the other is a cross plane crankshaft. The flat plane crankshaft fires evenly between its two banks, switching from one to the next and back. So it does this. A cross plane crank V8 switches unevenly between its two banks of four cylinders, like this. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, two. And that's why a flat plane Ferrari V8 sounds so different than a cross plane GM small block. The other thing that determines how evenly those exhaust pulses reach our ears happens outside the engine, but inside the exhaust. And it's mostly determined by the length and volume within the exhaust manifolds. Let's use some four cylinders as an example here. Since all four cylinder engines fire at evenly spaced intervals, if the distance the exhaust has to travel is the same between all cylinders, you get a smooth sound. If the distance for some of the cylinders is longer than others, well then you get an STI, the Subaru kind. The STI is notorious for its dramatically unequal length header. The exhaust for two of the cylinders has to travel literal feet farther than the other two. And that's what gives it its distinctive warble. By the way, all you have to do is put equal length runners on your Subaru and it'll sound like a Civic. The more the runner lengths vary, the more guttural and staccato the sound is and the deeper the sound is. If every different cylinder has a significantly different runner length, well, then it all starts to sound like a deep white noise, in the same way that a lot of differing voices in a stadium sound like a dull roar. On that dull note, we can say hello to the luxuriously quiet Mercedes-Benz V12 engine. It sounds like nothing, no matter how fast you spin it. However, if you put equal length headers on that engine, you turn your old Mercedes into the slowest Formula One car you've 
ever heard. Okay, so maybe that car has no mufflers either. But the point here is if you want a high-pitched, smooth sound, you need equal length exhaust pulses coming out of the exhaust. But there are times you don't actually want this. We've all heard the Nissan VQ V6. whiny, but it sounds amazing as it rises through the revs. And this is what a nearly equal length header V6 sounds like uncorked. Okay, Ford sells a ton of V6 powered pickup trucks. And can you imagine if it sounded like that, towing a 10,000 pound trailer across the country? You'd blow your brains out. To save your life, Ford installed deeply unequal length exhaust on that three and a half liter V6, and it sounds nothing like the VQ. And that was the right choice. It sounds like nothing like that Mercedes V12. If anything, maybe two three cylinders having an argument, but really kind of goes away. Most of the time we see unequal length exhaust on cars, and that's for cost and packaging reasons. A simple cast iron manifold isn't expensive to produce and doesn't take up a lot of space. Beautiful equal length spaghetti headers are gorgeous, but they're really expensive and they take up a lot of room. Then again, they do help you make more power, but that's due to exhaust scavenging and that's a whole different episode. You're gonna have to wait for that one to know it all about exhausts. an idiot. You know how this stuff works. Like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to check out the Haggerty Drivers Club.